Well, I'm late to April's burning melt. So let's go ahead and just start digging in for a few things. I think I'm gonna grab that sponge sugar and vanilla bean. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room. Um, I think I opened this order last month and it's April. So of course I'm liking fruity things. It's a nice day today. So that kind of has me in the mood to pull out some lemon and other scents like that, strawberry giggles. Ah, we'll try it. I got through all my wax for March and I'm working on um, a candle. I'll insert a clip here. So this one's going in the mix as well. Strawberry Bunny Shortcake Yankee Candle. This is the one I pulled out that I had done I think like earlier or last year and it was only I don't know, about a third way down. Anyways, let me tell you, I have logged hours and hours on this candle. I have tried to clean it up. I've removed a lot of the wax around the sides and put an aluminum lid on. I don't know where my candle sweater is, but it just will not burn down. I don't know if it's like a wick syndrome or what. Uh, very little throw at this point, but I'm gonna keep at it. So this will also be going into April and it is appropriate. I got strawberry bunny shortcake. I got my uh, Easter luma lid on there. And so we're gonna roll with it. Yeah, my strawberry bunny shortcake is giving me a hassle, but it's in the mix and I've been still burning at it. Uh, fresh picked raspberry sounds good, very fruity. What else we got? Guava berry goji. Why not? Pink flamingo ice cream. That sounds more like a July scent, doesn't it? Pumpkin cheesecake. Chocolate brownie sundae. Blush and cocoa. What else? One more. I'm thinking one more. We'll try this bippity boppity boo. No idea what the scent notes are. And then what we got in the in these melts. Um, I think they're mostly like fall bourbon, bourbon maple sugar, banana nut bread, cranberry, spice it up. And a home sweet home. I think I might put that one in the mix too. I don't think I have one. Uh, lemon cake pop loose so i'll probably have to grab one out of the box up here i picked this up the happy easter when i got my hand soaps yes i paid full price oh i ain't doing that but i did have a coupon and <laughs> okay those are mostly fall and winter scents i think these are my summer I need to get through a couple of these, including that one, this uh, this summer, which is right up on our rear ends. I see somebody, somebody loves you. I might grab that. I kind of want to do more fruity and less like uh, Easter egg chocolate scents. Let me smell that. It does smell fruity. I think it's a Chesapeake candle uh something like that what does it say scented candle i don't know but i'm gonna grab it and i don't see anything else back in there so we'll put that back over here i got thankful strawberry daiquiri something in the back okay vanilla bean noel I think I'm going to grab one of these boxes with the um, lemon cake pop in it because I love lemon cake pop. I also have a happy Easter up there still in the cellophane and I think I'll just leave it. I grab these out of my cabinet. I'm going to grab a couple of these strawberry shortcake photos. I'll just cut them up and use uh, them in the melter. So let me grab about four of those. I'll leave me three left. I do have a milk cup in it. And of course, 
some candy cane lane I need to get through. Sweet bunny carrots and tea lights. I don't think I really picked a lot out for April. However, I am working through the strawberry bunny shortcake. And I remember my peach bellini from last month. I never got to it, so I'm going to put that in the mix. So three with my Bath and Body Works. Some bunny loves you. It, it's kind of fruity. It is Chesapeake Bay Candle. I think I got it at Yankee Candle. It too is a three wick and has a cute little rabbit ears on it. And my last candle ooh, is the Lemon Cake Pop. It is a three wick. My favorite. Oh my gosh. Mm, I think this is packaging from about two years ago. I could be wrong on that. So those are my candles. And then for my melts, I grabbed Giggles. Don't know what it is. Guava Berry Goji. Farm, or sorry, Fresh Picked Raspberry. This Home Sweet Home from Bed Bath & Beyond. I did smell it. It is kind of spicy and cinnamon but I think I'm going to throw it in there and see if I can work my way through it because I've had it for a while. And you can see it was on sale when I bought it. And then my uh, other melts are Bibbidi Boppity Boo. Again, don't know the scent description. And these little wafers and sponge sugar and vanilla bean. I brought down a polypropylene bag and my four votive candles so I can cut them in half and throw them in the bag and put them in my wax warmer. So let me get this out of here. I have my wax knife. I only use it for wax, nothing else. And then I grabbed my little cutting board, which I never use. It was buried underneath all the other utensils and wrapped it in saran wrap. And then I'm just, I think I'm gonna put a piece of paper over it so I can cut and not mess up my cutting board in case I wanna reuse it for food, but I never do use it for food. Right. let me get these off of here so what I do is just take the wrapper off and cut it in half okay it's gonna it's gonna complicate my life oh I hope you can hear me because I'm looking at my candle but you guys are over here that smells so good come out the wrapper's cute too And I'm about ready for an empties video. It's my bag's just about full. I know I'll have to do one here in a few weeks. You can kind of hear that I've had this for a while because the plastic, as I make a mess, is kind of getting soft and mushy. Sometimes you can work the wick out, but I think I'm just gonna try to cut it first. Nice and crumbly, I see. I had a votive cutting party a couple years ago, and I did a bunch of votives in different bags. And I don't remember it being this difficult. I'm cheap. I don't want to buy tarts that only last eight hours for a couple bucks. When I can buy a votive, it's on sale, if it's on sale with the tarts and get a couple uses out of it. I'm trying, I'm being careful. I know probably it looks worse than what I'm showing, but I am. Oh boy, that went everywhere. So what you guys been up to I've been working really hard on my other channel uh, and neglecting this one terribly but I'm coming back around don't worry I'll be back
I picked up a planter recently, a vintage name planter. I want to kind of make a um, fall assemblage out of it. And I think I'll do that on, on this channel. And then I have my empties. I might do an Easter vlog. I might. Chloe's supposed to come over. And we're supposed to go see the bunny rabbit. And if I get enough footage, I'll make a vlog out of that. Uh, see, there's a perforated piece right there that I'm trying to grab. I want to grab my empty milk cup because I don't want to waste any of my little sprinkles of wax I have here. So I did get that one to come out and put these little pieces in my bag. Honestly, I could probably just put the whole top, uh, load of in the cup and then just freeze it like I always do and be done with it, you know, and then just uh, pop it all out. But no, I prefer to make a mess instead. I used my scissors too to get the wrapper off. That helped a lot. Moving on to the next one. I don't think I have any dedicated wax scissors, but then I use my scissors for absolutely everything, except for food. I have food scissors. So what I did this last time, I actually left the wrapper on and cut it with the um, wrapper on it. And I was able to scoop up the, the crumbles that way. Maybe it's going to get easier for me. This plastic is so kind of sticky and, and old. Oh, that came. Look at that. Ready? La la. Yay. That worked out beautifully. Oh, my bag's about full. I'll have to rearrange that when I'm done. I'm just going to cut it. Peel the top off. I think once you just get the idea that your fingers are going to be messy, you just roll with it. It gets easier. Put my knife down in there. Okay, I got my knife out. Pull that off. There. And get rid of this plastic. And it should be pretty much in half. So that worked a lot. Now next time I do this, I will not remember those smart steps I just figured out. And yes. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's that. That is my April burner melt. So let me clean up my mess. I'm going to go ahead and pop half of my warmer and get it going and enjoy my strawberry bunny shortcake. That trips me up every time. So have a blessed Easter and I'll talk to you real soon. Be on the lookout for my empties coming up here really soon.